Just imagine feeling the heat of South America, enjoying a tropical rainforest and eating some delicious bugs. Oh, they were in my hand. That's the perfect environment for any ant eater. Salvador joins us now with Sarah Radeker and also Alex Lane. Nice to see both of you. Nice and this you. guy. Wow, so he's a he's an ant eater. Yes. Right? Yes. What type of ant eater and where is he usually found? So he's a tamandua or a southern ant eater and ant eaters like this can be found in um, southern Mexico through Central America and northern part of South America. I thought you were feeding him pellets and I was like, <laughs> let me feed them and they're what they're tiny worms? They are, yeah. So he um, he's eating some mealworms right now and this is kind of like candy for him. <laughs> wow, look at that long tongue. Yes. Okay, I gotta try it. Let me try okay. it. Before I freaked out because You're, I wasn't ready for the. That's fine. Let me go. Okay. Oh, 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 that's quick. <laughs> that's like a, sh it's not a sharp tongue. It's a skinny tongue. It is. It's very thin and it's got all that sticky saliva to help um, stick to those bugs so he can slurp them up. That is crazy. And his face is so cool. Can we zoom on his face? I mean, I guess he has to have that long nose so he can really get in the holes, right? He does. He does. He's got that long nose. He's got a really good sense of smell. Um, and it, he does. He gets in there into those termite mounds, into ant hills to get all those delicious bugs. Where and when can we see Salvador at the zoo? So Salvador lives over at our wildlife show. And you can see him during the spring and summer at our Be a Zookeeper Zone. We have an outdoor recess enclosure that he gets to spend a lot of time outside, people watching. And you can That's also awesome. see him with our summer camps. Okay. Okay, and speaking of that, Alex, you have some safari and summer camps coming up, don't you? I do. We've got our spring safari coming up. They usually correlate with uh, spring breaks, so we've got okay. them coming up uh, March 21st through 23rd and the 28th through 30th. And our uh, summer safari actually just uh, registration opened today. Oh wow! This morning. What? How, can I do it again? It's just so interesting. Yeah. I mean, how many times in life do you get to feed an ant eater? Here you go, baby. Oh, how long is that tongue? It is 16 inches long. Oh. And wow. for our viewers at home, I actually have the special contraption. No way! Contraption. Cool. All right. So you can see how long this tongue is. Over yeah. Here, so, so Salvador. Whoa! Check that out. Oh my gosh, that is craziness. <laughs> oh wow. So what happens at um, the spring s safari camp, Alex? What can kids experience? So, I mean, it is the zoo, so we, you know, want to try and provide as many opportunities to engage and connect with animals as possible. So Sarah actually will bring, uh, Sarah and the wildlife show will bring out different animals to demo. We have our staff demo different animals. There's a lot of different zoo explorations and observations, crafts, games, activities, but almost exactly like what you're doing now. Just feeding? Providing the, the opportunity, yeah, to, to engage with animals on a yeah. closer level than this you would is otherwise. so awesome. What ages is best suited for? The spring safari we do from pre-K up right. through third. Summer uh -huh. we do pre-K, they must be four years old, going all the way up through eighth grade. Okay, and summer registration just opened today. You're encouraging parents to sign up. Yep, we roll our registration. Okay. Our registration opened at seven this morning. By about 8.30, six of our camps had sold out. So definitely get online and uh, do Good. That. Now, Sarah, tell me why anteaters are so important to our environment. Well, these guys are really important because they like to eat, of course, bugs and ants. They can eat up to 5,000 ants just in a single day. So they certainly help keep that bug population <laughs> in control. Thing. That is crazy, the funniest feeling. Yeah. How old is Salvador? Salvador is 10 months old. He's going to be a year in March. And how big will he get? He is about full grown. He weighs about 13 pounds, but tomandoas in general can get to be about 19, 20 pounds. Wow. Can I touch him? You Those are some serious can. claws. They are. You want to be careful. So if you'll just touch him down here okay. on his back. How did he come to the zoo, the Denver Zoo? He is actually the Gosh. second um, child to parents Keto and Rio at the zoo. Yeah. And they're part of our program animals. So he's one of our animals that get to come out and be on TV or get to see. Yeah, get in there. He has some serious tongue action he going does. on. Get over here. Come here. Oh, that tickles. It tickles. <laughs> yes. And so they can see him right now at the Denver Zoo, right? They can, yep. Thank you very much. So cool. I really, the kids will absolutely love this. Spring and summer safari camp registration is now on in full swing. Learn so much more about animals, make crafts, and even enjoy a few wild animal games in a safe, fun, and educational environment. All the details are found with just a click of your mouse. Go to denverzoo.org. Denverzoo.org.